Today's video is going to be a VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for August 28th, 2022. For this update, I got 11 VHS tapes, 8 DVDs. Well, technically, um, technically 11 because one DVD says a four, one DVD, one, one of the DVDs is a four DVD box set and four Blu-rays for this update. I got some more movies over during the last week. So anyways, let's get it started. First, we're going to start with the VHS tapes. And the first five VHS tapes are five more VHS tapes that I ordered off of Amazon.com last week and earlier this week. The first, I mean eBay, eBay, bought some more tapes from, more, from eBay. And the first three VHS tapes that I got from eBay are Warner Brothers clamshell cases from the early 80s. Here they are. This one's part of the Western genre. This is a Warner Brothers movie, also made with first artists. Former of some unknown video store. And there's a print on this this tape. September 20th, 1985. And and this tape, I believe, is actually a reprint because this tape actually has the 1984 black background FBI screens at the beginning instead of the white background warning from 1980 to 1983. So this is probably a 1984 VHS reprint. And these and these other two Warner clamshell cases were bid auctions. So I won, which the light in times of Judge, Judge Roy Bean was was a buy it now auction. These two were bid auctions. So I won. Part of the comedy genre. This one's also released by the Lad Company. This one I this one took a really long time to shipped to my house it was delayed so it was delayed for a week but now i finally got it earlier this week on monday it's got a bigger warren home view logo engraved the clamshell case recorded on a scotch tape Former from Hills Video Center. It says WH, WHV4, that is. Last clamshell I got. This is also part of the comedy genre. Oh, and the end label just came off. The print date is May May 1st, 1985. And it's a form roll from Planet Video. So I'm going to have to tape the end label back on one of these days. Probably when I get done after, probably when I get done after I make this video. Next, now, next up, now let's go on the slipcover cases, which these first two tapes are the last two tapes that I got from eBay earlier this week. This first one was a buy it now auction with, this first one was a buy it now auction, and this is a 1982 Paramount Gateway Video VHS release. This is my second, um, Paramount Gateway VHS tape from 1982. The other one I got is the Parallax View, which I got that on eBay back in March of 2000. March of 2020. That's when I. That's which was my first year of of using eBay. Now I got another Paramount Gateway video release of the big VHS tape from 1982, which is the Big Bus. And this one, this one's pretty rare to find on. 
online because when, whenever you find copies of this on eBay or Amazon, they're pretty pricey. But this one was originally eight dollars with a few dollars shipping. But I got, but the seller gave, but the seller gave me an offer for six dollars on sale. So I went ahead and snatched it. So yeah, pretty nice. I'm not sure the sticker here's for. This seems not really a form rental, but I'm not sure what this sticker is for. The fifty, the fifty, the thirty-fifth week of nineteen eighty-five. Even though it's a nineteen eighty-two VHS. <laughs> and here's the last tape that I got from eBay. This one was a bid auction, which I won. I've been getting a lot of bid auction VHS tapes from eBay that I've won lately, recently. If you notice, this one's a Vestron Video VHS release. I think this might be one of the first films Wesley Snipes ever was ever that that ever been in, along with Wildcats, which came out the same year as this. And this movie was originally released by 20th Century Fox, but the Fox logo does not appear on this tape. It goes straight to the movie right after the Vestron video logo. Logo. Former from Hills Video Center. This one I got from the same seller as Lovesick VHS. And the next slip, the next six VHS tapes are six VHS tapes that I got at the Hat Price Bookstore at Lewis Center, Ohio yesterday, which I found six VHS tapes from Hat Price Books yesterday, which is Saturday. So here they are. All these are slipcover cases. This one's a Nostalgic Merchant VHS release. This is an RKO Radio Pictures movie. Originally used to come. If this originally came from the Muni Mem, the Mani Muni Memorial Memorial Library, I, I can't pronounce that first word. And it has the Henron thing on there, which which Nostalgic Merchant was part of Henron Communications along with Media Home Entertainment. This next one's an MGM Musicals VHS release. This one was yes, this one was five dollars. So. I saw you go ahead and get this, even though this was $5. Yeah, it kind of sucks that Half Price Books has been jacking, jacking up the prices on some of their VHS tapes nowadays. I don't know why. And this is a 1949 movie from MGM. December 1st, 1993, even though this is a nighttime one VHS. This next one's a Columbia Classics VHS release. This is a Columbia Pictures movie as well. Has the Columbia Treasure Home Entertainment label on there. The 35th week of 2001, but this tape still, but this tape still has the Nighttime 3 Columbia Treasure Home Video logo at the beginning. This one, this next one's a Fox Studio Classics VHS release. I think this must this used to come from a thrift store because it has the fifty cent thing right there. Or I don't know if that's somebody's mark. I don't know. If, I don't know if this would belong to a thrift store or, or what. The fourteenth week of night time six. Even though this is a night time four VHS.
has the Paramount 25th Anniversary sticker label on there. This week in your code, it, I think it looks like it's the first week of Nighttime 1. And this tape has the multicolor Acid Trip Warren screens at the beginning. It goes straight to the movie. Even though this is a 1990 VHS release. And here's the last speech just for this update. This is another MGM movie. Nineteen sixty four movie that is from MGM. January twenty third, nighttime five, even though this tape came out nighttime three. The next um next up next the next five next up are now let's get on to DVDs, which these these next five DVDs are five DVDs that, that I got at the Hat Price bookstore. At the Hat Price Bookstore at Lewis Center, that is, along the six VHS tapes that I just showed. And I found five DVDs there. So let's get this, so let's show them to you. This one was in the $3 bin at Hat Price Books. This is the original 2002 MGM DVD release. This is and this movie is released by the Samuel Goldwyn Company. And this next one was and this next DVD I got was brand new sealed, but I already opened this up. While the others were used. And this movie is produced by Universal Pictures and Morgan Creek Productions. Instead of Morgan Creek being the, being the producer of this movie with Universal distributing this movie only, it's just this one's actually made by both Universal and Morgan Creek at the same time instead. I have been curious, and this is another movie I've been really curious about seeing, so why not pick this up? It has more, some more Sima facts there. I believe this and American Buffalo were originally a, um, avant-garde mgm avant-garde um cinema titles and this movie is from the samuel goldwyn company And these last two DVDs, like DVDs I got at Hat Price Books, were movies that I had on VHS, but I wanted to get on DVD. This one was this one was also in the three dollar bin. Here's the last DVD I got at Hat Price Books. Columbia Pictures movie. I wanted to get the special edition DVD release of this movie, that, which they had at Hat Price Books, but I looked at the features and pretty much had the same content as this DVD, only except a big booklet, so I decided to pick this original DVD release instead. Just pick up this original DVD release instead.
This next DVD is a DVD is it, this next DVD is a DVD of that DVD that I got from Dollar is a DVD that I got at Dollar Tree yesterday after my trip to Half Price Books, which I found one DVD and two Blu-rays there. But this was the only DVD that they had at Dollar Tree Store that I wanted that or seemed interesting to me. And this movie, this movie is released on DVD by Universal. And lastly, here are two DVDs I got at at Big Lots yesterday, right after my trip to Dollar Tree and Half Price Books. And this movie is from Open Road Films, and this is also released on DVD by Universal. And this last DVD for this update that I got that I also got big lots is is a DVD box set. Which this is for the Will Rogers Collection Volume 1. This one I found at Big Lots for $10, which is pretty cool. It has four movies in here. Whoops. Here's Dub Dublin Thomas. This one, this movie's from 1935. Here's an old Kentucky. Another movie from 1935. Life Begins at 40. From 1935. And lastly, Steamboat Round the Bend. Another 1935 movie. Yeah, all these DVDs in this box set are from 1935. Yeah, I was pretty, really surprised to find this DVD set at Big Lots that day, so went ahead and pick it up. I do like watching these classic movies, so why not pick these up? And now let's get on to the four Blu-rays, which these first two Blu-rays I got are two Blu-rays that I got at the Dollar Tree store, along with the DVD of an interview with God, which I found two Blu-rays there. This Blu-ray is from Echo Bridge Entertainment. I believe the original Blu-ray 
DVD and Blu-ray release of this movie was either from Universal or Lions, either Universal Studios or Lionsgate Home Entertainment. But post a comment below in this video if you tell me if it if I'm right or wrong. Well, this movie's from Mill Millennium Films Entertainment, so I guess Echo Bridge has some of the rights to their movies right now. Here's the other Blu-ray I got from Dollar Tree that day. And this one is Wrath of the Titans, which this one is actually the is it has the is a Spanish Blu-ray which has the title in Spanish, which is Ferrat the Titans 2, which I guess stands for Clash of the Titans 2. This is the sequel to the 2010 Clash of the Titans movie, which I have on Blu-ray, so why not pick this up? And this is actually a combo DVD combo. Blu-ray DVD comic pack because it actually has the Blu-ray disc which the, which has the English Blu-ray release. I test this Blu-ray out and still is the American Blu-ray in English. And here's the DVD which still has the name in Spanish which is a DVD digital copy combo disc. And here's a digital copy code which has it in Spanish right here. This will be expired on 2014. This is kind of like my Blu-rays of Labor Day and The Fallen Hour Stars, so I found those at Dollar Tree. And lastly, here are two Blu-rays that I got from Big Lots yesterday, all of the Will Rogers Collection DVD set and Little Boy. This one I did have on Blu-ray, but it was kind of scuffed up and old, so I wanted to get a better copy of this movie on Blu-ray, and I finally did. Which, this one's a 2015 Blu-ray Blu-ray re-release, because it has the different cover. It's a Columbia Pictures movie. But still has the original 2010 Blu-ray and DVD disc inside. And here's the last Blu-ray for this update. And this movie I had on DVD, but this but but this one but I found this on but I found this at Big Lots for on Blu-ray for only three dollars, so why not pick this up? It's a New Line Cinema film. And it's another combo disc set. So it has the movie on Blu-ray and DVD. And that's it for my V... And that's it for this new VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for August 28th, 2022. Hope you guys like this video and see you guys later.